buddy. Do you want to come be in my video? Hi. Hey y'all. I hope you can hear me okay, but uh, I decided to do a video outside because it's so nice out and pretty. Um, we got the cat here to keep me company. Um, yeah, cats are my friends. Uh, I like to make friends with every single cat that I meet. I cannot say the same for people. Um, I'm actually a type of person who has never been able to make friends. And it's gonna get your tail out of the camera. <laughs> I think it's definitely a human thing to want to have people in your life, and so you make friends. But as autistics, we never learn how to make them. We don't really like learn from experience how to make friends. So we say, okay, um, I did this in the past to make a friend and it worked to make a friend. So now I'm going to make a friend the same way. I, for, like at least speaking for myself, I never could figure out how to develop a system for making friends. And so every single friend that I make, I'm just suddenly friends with, it seems like. And then when I go to meet someone else and make a new friend, it feels like I'm making a friend for the first time. Because I'm like, wait, how did I do this before? How did I do this the other hundred times that I've made friends before? And so that's already kind of starting out kind of weird way to connect with people. Growing up not knowing I was autistic as well played into it because I didn't know why I was different from other people and had trouble connecting with other people. And so I just kind of tried my best. Hi, you need attention, don't you? This cat is hilarious. <laughs> a lot of, especially autistic women, but just a lot of autistic people in general have made friends with someone, think that everything's great, and then they're just like, I don't want to be friends with you anymore. Maybe don't even say that and just start ignoring us, leave us. Um, and I feel like most of the friendships that I've had that ended that way, I don't know why they ended that way. Um, it's kind of interesting being on YouTube for this because past friends of mine could find me and watch this stuff and especially friends who left me and don't know I'm autistic until finding my YouTube or anything like that. And I don't know how they would react or how they would respond to this or anything like that. But, like, I don't hold it against anyone who did this to me because I can forgive pretty easily. Um, and, like, looking back, like, I know that I was oblivious to a lot of things that could have contributed to them not wanting to be friends with me. When I was younger, I didn't know about making friends um, and how to have boundaries with those friends. And so there's probably a lot of the time that because I did not set proper boundaries and this person crossed those boundaries that they didn't know that they were crossing. And so I backed off. I can definitely see that I've done that before. And so the way that I see it, no one is entitled to anything that I don't want to give. And then flip it as a mirror image, nobody else owes it to me to spend time with me or do anything with me or, you know, anything like that. We all just meet people, try to connect, and hope for the best. Sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it works out for a little bit of time and then just kind of fades away. Sometimes it works out and then we have a misunderstanding, an argument, um, something that has crossed a boundary happens and we just can't be friends after that. Um, I'm really at the point in my life where I realize, like, I'm not gonna waste any of my emotional energy holding it against people if they don't want to be friends with me. I don't feel like it's helpful for me to try and find who is to blame. That just prevents me from moving on. It just better if I look at what went wrong, try to figure out what went wrong. If I can't, then just let it go. If I can figure out what went wrong, tried my best to not let that happen the next time. As of now, especially because of quarantine and I just stay at home, um, I don't feel like making new friends at this point in my life. I feel like the friends that I have, I'm good. I don't have enough emotional or energy to maintain any more friendships than I've already got. Online friends are okay. Um, 
like anyone can message me on Instagram and stuff and like that. But um, in in life, I like even after quarantine's over, I need time by myself. And because such a huge chunk of my time will be devoted to being at work, then I need to balance out that time around people and doing things with time alone. And so I really don't have the time for other friends than the ones I already have. I want to treat the friends that I already have uh, with as much respect and appreciation as I can. And it would be irresponsible of me to try and make other friends and then not treat them that same way because I'm too exhausted to hang out with them or show them that I care about them or anything like that. That's pretty much what I wanted to say about that. I hope that if you guys have connected with anything that I've said and related to some experiences that I've had that you'll um, watch my next video that I'm going to make next week with my new camera, uh, hopefully. And handling the friends that you have right now and talking about it from an autistic person's perspective, knowing that they are autistic, how to make friends. Hope that everything's going well for y'all. Bye, kitty. Bye.